Yellow guys, the Mitch here, and we're back with another Minecraft survival for beginners. And this is part three. Episode three is finally here, and we're gonna go straight back into where we uh, just were, where we just left off. Uh. Yeah, the little if you as you can notice that the the little words that you see on that little box there, little t helpful t hints as the the game is loading, um, just little just little helpful hints uh, as as the game loads up. You'll see a few of those, so it's quite it's quite helpful to read those because sometimes it gives some pretty some pretty helpful some pretty helpful. Pretty helpful hints. So, where are we? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right, so where we last left off, we were at, um, uh, right, <laughs> I forgot. So I was in a really bad way. I was under attack, and I remember just making an emergency little shelter here and running inside of that little shelter. <laughs> all right, it's all coming back to me. It's coming back to me now. <laughs> uh, so, um, right, I, I, I didn't m mention the Enderman. Yeah, the Enderman, he, he, <laughs> he kind of murked me. He kind of murked me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap, not gonna lie, no cap. He, he kind of murked me there. Uh, I did not see it coming. Did not see it coming at all. Um, so with the Enderman, uh, I forgot to mention that. I didn't uh, have the time anyway. But yeah, that was an Enderman. Uh, if you didn't see... Hold on. I feel a sneeze. I feel a sneeze coming. Wait. Okay, false alarm. Uh, so in the last part, if you haven't seen it, uh, it was, uh, I think it was part two. Yes, in part two, I was uh, I was being beat up. Uh, or no, was it part one? Which part was it where I was like, where I was dying? I think it was part one. Right. And then in part two, what happened in part two? I can't remember. Was I attacked again? I can't remember. I'm having amnesia. Oh my God. So I don't even know the what I was just talking about. I think that was from part one. And then part two, I remember going up to, wait, let me get out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I remember going up to to the mountains, to the, uh, to the ice and then like, I wanted to get out of that because I was like dying, and I and I was talking about the seeds and the and the growing the stuff for the people who are uh, who are maybe pacifist because there are pacifists. I've seen game. I've seen videos where uh, of these like people who are pacifists who um, who but they are they're pacifists who play who likes to play games like Minecraft uh, where where you're where there is killing. Um, but so they, like, they try to play the whole game without ever having to kill, and it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty strenuous, I can, just imagining that. It's pretty hard to imagine it, to be honest. I, I, <laughs> I mean, but people, they're gonna play their own way! Ah, ah! I'm sinking. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to review the videos <laughs> because I forget, man. I forget how I ended up at this point. But uh, I do know one thing. I did not explain the internet. I was gonna and I have to mention that. Uh, so uh, whatever part it was, I think it was part one. Now that I'm thinking of it. But uh, in the part where I was 
absolutely wrecked by uh, by the big, tall, lanky, skinny, uh, black figure there, like with the big glowing purple eyes. That's called an Enderman. Uh, Enderman is, I suppose. I think the Enderman. I always saw the Enderman is supposed to be like a, a inspired. Or maybe like a parody of the Slenderman. I mean, it's, I mean, it's in the name. I mean, come on, Enderman, Slenderman. I, it's, it seems pretty intentional to me, in the fact that he's long and skinny, just like the the Slenderman, um, and that they come out at night, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was that was the Enderman, and yeah, they're mostly harmless. Is what I'm gonna say. They're mostly harmless, but I mean, yeah, they. If you attack them, then they're not so. So they're they're passive. Uh, they're isn't that what that's called? Passive uh, or non? They're host. They're not hostile, but they're like they can be. They only fight uh, back, like kind of like the wolves. The wolves only attack when you attack them. Um, so, I mean, you're fine if you're not hitting the Enderman. Then he'll get really mad. Uh, other, The other thing is that you have to be careful of with Enderman is not to stare at them. You can't stare at them. Specifically at their their waist region. Uh, they're really tall. So, if you, I mean, you look at their waist area or whatever in that area, just they're, they're going to get mad and it'll just freak out. I mean, but I didn't look at his, I didn't look at the waist, I didn't look at his head, didn't look at his feet, didn't look at his shoes. What are those? I didn't do that. So, I mean, I don't know what was wrong with that in man. He, he was just mad, man. He just had a bad day. I don't know. But, anywho, we're not going to worry about the Enderman. We're going to continue on. Uh, I completely forgot where, what I was doing in the last one. I'm going to have to, like, look up. Uh, the last thing I was doing here um, and see if I can find that uh, and see what I can remember because I'm having some serious amnesia here so um, my health my health is not very good uh, I'm gonna need right right the tools was the last thing that we did the last thing we made was the tools. Uh, we got the crafting table. We have the tools. Um, what was the other thing? I was gonna. Uh, I wanted to show how to. Uh, right, right. The the uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm forgetting. Uh, what was it called? What was it called? Uh, the the furnace. The furnace. The furnace. The furnace. Right. So as you can see, I'm hungry, and lo most likely at some point you're gonna be hungry as well, and so. Um, so what you want to do is you need to make a furnace. And so in order to make a furnace, you're going to need about eight cobblestone. And you get cobblestone from the from the stone. That's those blocks up there, the, 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 the gray ones. That's, that's stone. Uh, so that's what we're going to need to go to mine. Uh, we're going to need some more of these. Don't wait. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, let's get rid of this snow. Go away, snow. Too much snow. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah, you can, by the way, fun fact, you can actually collect snow by using your shovel. Just uh, shovel up snow, and you'll actually, it'll drop snowballs. So that's how you collect the snow. It'll just, in the form of snowballs. And you can actually throw the snowballs. Really cool. Shout out to um, to Minecraft uh, Tumble, Minecraft Tumble Edition, well, Minecraft Console Edition Tumble. That's the old console editions. The Minecraft mini games uh, Tumble. I, I wonder if any of you are out there who knows about that. Let me know in the comments if you if you know about that. But shout out to that. I do have some old, old content like that on my channel. But anywho, we have found the iron. That's exactly what I was talking about. 
I believe in the last video, Iron. Uh, and I apologize for some of my, some of the video is, was cut. It was removed. Um, but what I said, uh, the, what I said during the, the cut was, uh, basically that you would need to get iron, uh, uh, to make, yeah, to make a bucket, uh, in order to collect water, you need a bucket in order to get a bucket. You need, well, to make a bucket, you would need iron, iron ingots. And to get iron ingots, you're going to need iron ore. This is iron ore. And what you can get iron ore from caves, uh, most ideally. But you can also get iron ore from just like the sides of mountains. When you go to a, a, a big hill, a big mountain, you see a lot of stone. At some point, you're, you're likely to find iron ore. If you don't just make dig around or like mine around really with your with your handy pickaxe here and you'll and you're likely to find iron ore so when you find this this is exactly what I was talking about it looks like the coal right up there it just it looks just like the coal except it's like this off-white brownish color uh, so when you find this this is iron ore you want to mine it with your with your pickaxe with your stone pickaxe like uh, is more helpful um, you mine it wait this is uh iron right yes raw iron oh no the phantoms the phantoms oh oh where's my shelter oh oh back in the shelter all right we're gonna have to hang out here for the night. Oh, I'm I'm reviewing my video here, and yeah, I was under attack. Oh yeah, I almost died, and I had to eat the last of my food. And right, okay, I remember now. Hey, okay, I remember now. Yeah, I was dying. <laughs> And I had to eat the little food that I had from that I picked up from the uh, from the begin the bonus test, right? And that got my health up just a bit, but I mean, obviously I'm hungry. And then, so right, right about the hold on. So about the the how the hunger bars and all that stuff works. Um, so as you can see at the bottom of the screen, look at the bottom of your screen and what you're going to see is a hunger bar. You're going to see the health bar and you're going to see the XP bar. What do you even call that? The XP bar. I th I'm just going to call it XP bar. Uh, so the health bar is the hearts, the red hearts. You see the red hearts on the left. That's your health bar. The hunger bar is the the little the little chicken legs, the little uh, <laughs> uh, or turkey legs, or I'm not sure what particular meat that is, but uh, yeah, it's the it's the little the little top chicken legs or whatever on the right side. And the, the the XP bar is the green bar underneath that, of course. Um, so, as you can see, my hunger bar, which is the chicken legs, they are quite low. And when your hunger bar depletes, that means you become... Uh, you become like the lower your hunger bar is, the less you can, the less things that you can do, or specifically, it's tied to your stamina. So, uh, you know how you can sprint and everything. You can sprint. I can. I can't. I don't have very much room to sprint in here. But uh, when you sprint, holding the, uh, you can. So, oh, I don't even think I covered the sprinting. <laughs> uh, so when you're walking, just like normal, as you can see, but when you hold. Uh, what is it? For me, uh, it's the L. Okay, let me look in the settings here. Because I remember I changed my settings. Uh, 
I've changed my controls. Where is it? Uh, X to jump, um, square to drop item, R2 to attack, destroy things, L2 to use item or place blocks, crafting, circle. The crafting is originally square. So the crafting should be square for you. Well, if you're on PlayStation, the crafting should be square and the drop item should be circle. But I switched those two. I swapped them because I got sick and tired of the uh of the the insta instant erase button. Uh I think it was a square button. And it was like, you can instantly erase your hotbar. I hated that. I absolutely hated that. I don't know which version it was on, but I just know because of that, I changed the, uh, the controls because I got sick of accidentally erase, pressing that, that square button while I was looking into my menus um, and accidentally erasing my, my stuff. So I just changed the, set, I changed the controls. Uh, but I think it's changed since then. I'm not sure. Um, but... Uh, I swapped those two. Triangle is for inventory. Hmm. Sprint. Uh, so s to sneak, a fly, that's for creative. You don't have to worry about the fly thing. Everything that says fly is for just like creative mode. We're in survival, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, the sneak one, uh, sneak with R3, that's how you sneak down, uh, which is like your character will crouch down. Uh, I'll show you in a moment. But when you sneak, you're going slow. And so if you're, if you're, finding, uh, if you're finding yourself unable to run, unable to, if you're going really slow and you don't know why, then uh, try pressing the R3 or the sneak button, whatever it is for you. Um, cause you're most likely sneaking, um, accidentally. Um, but for a sprint is L3 for me. Uh, and you have to hold that down. I think you can change it to toggle, hold, hold or toggle. But for me, it's on, uh, it's on hold for a sprint, uh, as it should be, in my opinion, uh, I, I, but I remember uh, the way you sneak, or not sneak, the way you sprint was usually a different, uh, w a different, uh, it wasn't to hold it down. Originally to, to sprint, I think you have to double tap the forward button. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, as you can see, I'm sprinting a little bit when I'm doing that. Yeah, when are you, yeah so you double tap it. Um, to that's the normal way, but I changed it to um, to hold down L three L three. That's the left stick uh, because it's more. It makes more sense, man. In most other games, how what's the way that you in games that you can run that you can sprint in? What's usually the way that you can sprint in other games? Like I don't know Call of Duty or I don't know whatever. So many other games. It's usually the left stick, right? You usually hold the left stick down. You press so you press the R the L3 button uh, or the left stick, and that will allow you to sprint or to toggle the sprint or to hold it. It's usually the left stick, so I mean it makes sense, right? So that's how I have mine, because um, it I mean it just it comes naturally. Wait, I just saw Enderman. I think I just saw Enderman. Enderman is very creepy. They are uh, creatures that uh, are originated from the end dimension. Um, that's another dimension in Minecraft. Yes, we have different dimensions in Minecraft. That's another fun fact for you. Um, and we're in the... This current dimension is the overworld dimension. That is the current dimension. That's our home dimension. Um, the... The Enderman is from another dimension known as the End Dimension. And uh, there is the, the Enderman. 
I'm not going to look directly at him. I don't know the diff the distance uh, of how far you have to be before you're safe from looking at them, but I'm not taking no chances. Because uh, once you look at them with your cruiser, the cruiser, by the way, is the little the white cross. Uh, and when you aim that white cross directly at them, uh, that means that they'll likely get mad, and they'll you can see them uh, they'll turn their attention straight to you, and they'll start running to you, uh, and they start making some creepy noises, and they just run. And that's usually having me uh, do a chuck a Yui. Turn, I turn my butt around and ah! I'm running away usually for the most part. Um, sometimes if I'm frustrated and I don't got time for this, uh, I usually just take my sword and I just, I have at thee, file demon. Ah! So sometimes I don't, got to, I don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, but I mean... Uh, you should be able to to win the fight if you have some good enough weapons. Also, a good uh, a good thing to note about Intermen, they can teleport. If you haven't noticed already, they can teleport all over the place, anywhere they want. Um, but something, a good fun fact about Intermen, they are afraid of rain. They're afraid of water. They hate water. So, I mean, I guess maybe that's the a good thing to have on you I guess <laughs> some water <laughs> um, they hate the rain so I mean we had we do have weather so when it rains the enemy is gonna spaz out all over the place it's so funny when it rains they'll start teleporting all over the place all right so I forget what I was originally talking about. Oh, I was talking about the different buttons and things like that. Uh, what was the point that I... Oh, because I was talking about the sprint and how to sprint. So, yeah, just that's a different way of uh, the sprint. That's come, kind of come in handy. But the, thing, the point um, that I was mentioning is because when you do more things like that, like sprinting, like mining things, uh, it's going to count for your stamina. And so... Uh, the more you do that, the more you're likely to become hungry. And when you're hungry, that's when your hunger bar starts to deplete. Uh, your hunger bar starts shaking and rattling. As you can see right now, look at my hunger bar. Um, you can see it like shaking a little. Can't you see that? That means I'm hungry. So you, when you're hungry, your hunger bar is going to start shaking. And the more you just go without eating, it's going to start depleting. And when it depletes all the way, uh, well, it does not deplete all the way. It goes down to at least one hunger uh, hunger bar. And when you have one hunger left, that means the very last, the very last chicken leg, the very last chicken leg on your hunger bar um, will be left. Um... And so when it depletes on its own, you're going to... So in other words, when you're starving, when you're hungry, and you're not eating anything, eventually it's going to go all the way down to one left. And when with that one that's left, uh, you, it doesn't go down unless, I think, on hard mode. But I could be wrong. Or maybe was that the hardcore mode? But we don't have hardcore mode on this version of Minecraft. But I think there is hardcore on the Java Edition. I'm not sure. But um, you'll have one left. So I guess that's like the game sparing your life or something. Uh, so you have time to get some food to build it back up before it's all the way gone. Because so, when it's all the way gone and that very last hunger is gone, uh, you'll start to lose health. Your, your hearts will go start going down and you'll start dying. And when your health bar goes down, that's when you die. So, yeah, when you, with the, when you have low hearts, that's a really bad thing. Really, really bad thing. So, that means we're gonna have to find some food. That's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, the raw iron, uh, right. So, 
with the raw iron here is uh, what we're gonna is uh, important, very important, arguably one of the, uh, the one of the most important resources in this game is iron. A lot of uh, there's a lot of things that requires iron. A lot of craftable things. A lot of important things that requires iron. Uh, besides just tools. Uh, like armor, for example. We also have armor in this game. Uh, and so armor uh, provides extra protection to your to your health. It protects your health. Uh, so it's kind of like kind of like in GTA. If you've ever played GTA, when you have armor on and it gives you an extra bar, uh, and yeah, pretty much like that. Uh, and so when you have armor, you'll have uh, these armor bars that goes on a very... Uh, it, it's above the health bar. So above the hearts uh, down there, it'll pop up uh, your armor bar. And you can see that when you have uh, some armor on, uh, you'll be able to see it. Uh, so you, in order to put on armor, you need these are the slots for, for your armor. Uh, and if I can... Go to my, uh, hmm. This is our temporary base for the moment. Just for the time being. This is our temporary base. Temporarily, of course. Um... Right, so I'm going to put this here. Campfires, boats, we have a lot of stuff here. Chests, we can I can get into all of that uh later videos if you guys like. If you guys would uh, like for me to continue this series in the first place. Uh torches, torches. Very important. We're going to need to make those. So torches in order to make torches, uh, you're going to need a stick and you're going to need um, a piece of coal. But alternatively, uh, if you don't have coal on you, this is coal right here. Uh, and if you don't have any coal on you, and if you can't get any coal right now, then alternatively, you can make charcoal, which is a wonderful substitute for coal. Excuse me. So, you're gonna to make charcoal. You're gonna need to have a furnace, and that's exactly right. That's exactly the thing that I was talking about originally. A furnace. So, with the hunger, when you're hungry like I am right now, you're gonna need to uh, you're gonna need to cook food uh, in a furnace. So, which means we're gonna have to go and find some food. We have a raw salmon right here. That's some food, so I can cook the raw salmon. But I'm just going to need a furnace. So let's gather more materials here. So remember, for dirt, the brown block right here, that's dirt. For dirt, you need to, uh, you need to hover over your shovel. Hover over your shovel in your hotbar. And just mine the, the dirt. And that's how you, you're digging dirt. That's for the dirt. The grass blocks, that's the green ones, the, uh, the brown ones. It's the same thing. And so that's what you want to mine with shovels. For the stone and anything that's similar to stone, is for uh, is the pickaxe. That's what you use the pickaxe for. So you highlight over that the pickaxe, just like that, um, and you continue to do that until you have enough of the, and you have enough of the the stone that you need. Uh, but as you can see, this block just dropped and as you can see if i mine it again the uh if i mine the stone underneath it watch what happens the block falls and that's because this block is not stone this block is gravel it's called gravel and gravel blocks actually obeys the laws of gravity the laws of physics here it obeys the laws of physics it obeys the gravity, so it, it's affected by gravity, uh, essentially. So it falls down. Um, 
which makes it very dangerous uh, when you're in a cave. It's very dangerous to mine above you, specifically because of blocks like gravel and blocks like sand. Sand blocks and gravel blocks actually uh, is affected by gravity. And so what that means is they're likely above you if you're digging up from like underground and when you're digging up a gravel block or a sand block could just fall straight on you. And when that happens, if you're trapped in a, in a very tight space, like right here, like this, right? I'm gonna make it, I'll make it right here, boom. It's hard to see anything right now. But, but basically, if you're in that space just like that, um, and you dig up, and a block like that, like gravel or sand falls on top of you, uh, then you will begin to suffocate. Because you're, you're in a space that now you can't get out of and you'll start to die like immediately. So when you're caught in that situation, I, su I suggest you uh, highlight over the shovel really quickly and just like dig all around you, just dig everywhere and try to get yourself out of that situation before it's too late. Uh, shovel counts as like a, well, the, the shovel works on blocks like gravel. It works on blocks like sand, uh, sand gravel, uh, dirt. Uh, that's what the shovel can work for. Um, so it's not to get it confused, to get the gravel confused with the stone. Because they do look similar because they're both gray. But as you can see, the gravel block is different from the stone block. Just got to pay attention. But gonna uh, build uh, gonna continue mining a bit more mining this little space down uh, back here uh, so I'm gonna uh, move this crafting table put it right there um, that should be good so now I should have enough yes I do have enough cobblestone so now I have enough cobblestone in order to make a furnace. So remember, if you, uh, if you want to cr uh, craft stuff, you're going to need a crafting table. Your crafting table is the go-to in order to craft anything you need. So let's go to the crafting table. So let's just click on top of the crafting, crafting table. And you're going to want to look for the gray block known as the furnace right here. This is the furnace. So you want to go to this one. And as you can see, over here, uh, you can count the all of the cobblestone blocks uh, and, and to, to see how many of them that you need in order to make a furnace. So let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the total number of squares is nine. So obviously the one missing, uh, that would mean that's eight. So which means you need eight. The ones that you count, that's how many you need in order to make uh, whatever you're trying to make. Uh, so that's eight cobblestone, which means if you have at least eight or more cobblestone, you'll be able to make one furnace. So if you have that, then what you wanna do is click on the furnace just like this boom just like that just one time just one time and if you do that correctly then you'll see the furnace in your inventory or your your hotbar so then you want to go back then you want to place the furnace down and you're there now you placed the furnace now you have a furnace and furnace is basically an old-fashioned stove so that's basically what that is. Um, I want to place it like that. Uh, it's, 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 it's recommended, you don't have to, but the thing is, the thing about that is, uh, spiders 
are two block two by two blocks uh, in length in width and length or however that works so basically they're two blocks wide which means if you have it open like this a spider can uh, you mean do you remember the giant spider that I was fighting yeah those giant humongous tarantulas uh, can just crawl inside of through this space right here because it's two blocks see one block two block that's two blocks wide they can crawl into between that space and just maul you and just <laughs> and just take you out so it's helpful to have uh, have it closed in a in the tight tighter space um, so the craft the, not the crafting table the furnace right so the furnace uh, is basically an old-fashioned stove so you can use it to craft not craft but uh, to cook food mostly but you can also use it to smelt things like turn cobblestone back into its original state which is stone um, and there's different uses for that there are useful uh, uses for that there are certain um, recipes as a matter of fact of certain things uh, that actually requires um, stone and not cobblestone so as you can see in the little crafting the, uh, go back to the nine squares over there on the right hand side under the crafting uh, look over there as I'm scrolling down um, as you can see the very different uh, variety of uh, of things here um, that's required to make all of these different things and there's a few of those things you're gonna come across that you're gonna actually need stone and not cobblestone remember the cobblestone is the blocks that looks like this this is cobblestone and the stone is the smoother looking one it's a smooth gray block so uh, and I can't remember off the top of my head exactly uh, an example of something that needs actual stone um, at the top of my head because uh, I have to uh, move on here but but yeah at some certain things you're gonna craft at some point you're gonna run into the crafting ingredient is gonna require stone and so if that's the case then that's when you go to your crafting your your furnace and you want to put the the uh, so go to your your furnace and you want to put your cobblestone in the top square and then you're gonna to want to put some fuel in the bottom square fuel for a furnace is coal and charcoal uh, and also wood wood of any type so that would be wood logs and also the wood planks um, but I'm not gonna do that right now you don't need to smelt uh, stone right now what I do need though is to cook something so go to your furnace if you're not already put this uh, put some wood assuming that you don't already have coal uh, but remember you can use both of them as fuel uh, but one is better than the other and that's coal coal is like five times better than the wood because it lasts so much longer uh, when you use it uh, but when you put the uh, the wood in there it doesn't last nearly as long so when you put a log in the furnace as fuel it lasts uh, it lasts longer than the planks the planks is like super fast and the, the the light from the furnace will go out and the furnace will uh, will die out in just a matter of seconds when you put a plank in as fuel uh, so you're gonna have to have a lot of planks if you want to use that as fuel but if you put a jungle log or a, an oak log or an acacia log or whatever log if you put a log in as fuel it will last longer than the planks because uh, it's a better it's more fuel and it lasts longer but the coal lasts longer than both of those combined uh, but for for the moment I just gonna put the jungle log in there so I don't need it 
Uh, it doesn't really matter actually, but I'm just maybe I can just put that one in there. Then I put that one in there, and then so if you have food, then already if you have food, then put it in the top square, and it'll start cooking. The furnace is now cooking. As you can see, it's lighting up. Uh, and so the white arrow means that it's is pretty much the duration of letting you know of when uh, when the cooking is finished basically it's just letting you know when it's almost done um, and the flames as you can see is when it's kind of like an indicator of letting you know when the furnace is about to go out when the fuel is about to run out uh, so when you want to put more fuel in there, it's, you can actually put like a lot more of them. If So if, for example, if I put two logs in there, or maybe three or four or five, then it'll actually use one of them, uh, and the, you will see the flame come back, just like you saw a moment ago. And then when the flame goes all the way down... Uh, and you actually, and you still have, that's the important part. If you still have food at the top up here and the flame goes down and you already still have more logs down here, then that's going to start using up the whatever that's remainder of your logs until the food is gone, until whatever up here is gone, of course. But we, uh, but, uh, I don't, we don't have to continue into that just in case I'm confusing the heck out of you but we can go back into that later. So you want to do is uh, the food that you just cooked, you want to highlight over that food in your hot bar, of course, and you want to press the eat button. For me, that is the L2. Um, and you want to eat. eat the, uh, hold the L2 button and you will eat it and it will be gone. And as you can see, my hunger bar is now higher. Um, and so, uh, you can eat raw, you can eat cooked food, you can also eat raw food. But the thing about that is, uh, with certain raw foods that you eat, eventually you're going to become sick. And, and when you come sick, your hunger bar is going to turn like this green, yucky, nasty color. Uh, it's going to see this green aura around your, uh, around your hunger bar down there. So the, the, the chicken legs at the bottom is going to turn like this green weird color. Uh, and it's going to start like depleting more, uh, basically. And it's like, so overall it's like bad for your your health, your quote unquote health. Um, but also another thing to notice, uh, my hunger bar went up. But the thing about that is you can notice that my health bar is not going up. I'm not regenerating. So how that works is that your hunger bar, when your hunger bar is full, your health regenerates. So which means when you're hurt, uh, you're gonna need uh, to eat food to replenish your health, to make your to make the hearts go back up. So, but as you can see, that's not working right now. Why is it not working right now? So. It's not working because as you can see, the two little, uh, there's two little empty spaces of my hunger bar, as you can see, uh, in order to, for your health to start regenerating, you're going to need to have at least a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, chicken legs, <laughs> uh, in your hunger bar for your health to start regenerating, which means you can only have at least one empty space, at least one. But as you can see, I have two and maybe a little part of the third one, as you can see. But for that, that's all you can have to do is just find something else, anything else that you can actually eat and that'll finish up the rest. There's different levels to your hunger bar uh, with food, the things that you eat. Like, for example, uh, apples have a different, gives you a different amount of hunger. Uh, what do you even call the, the chicken legs? I I'm, I'm keep calling it chicken legs, but that's not the official uh, name for the individual 
uh, bars, if you get what I mean. Uh, but there's different points to different foods that you eat, which means if you eat some cooked, uh, some cooked chicken, for example, you're gonna get a lot more hunger. You, it's gonna feel a lot more of your hunger bar compared to when you're eating, I don't know, say a carrot or a loaf of bread or something. It's, it's different levels to different foods and that's what you're gonna have to uh, pay attention to. Um, but we need to leave out of here. But yeah, this is, this is my little shelter here. Uh, also, oh, right, right, the, uh, we're gonna need light. Light is important. Uh, I forgot to go, uh, over light, so let's go over that in a moment. We are 40, 46 minutes in now. So, we are, uh, running out of time. Let's, uh, let's get going here. So, light. Right, so light is very important in Minecraft, as you can tell because of the, uh, it's been so dark, uh, that's where the torches come in. Torches is a form of light source that allows you to see better in the dark. Um, which I'm sure is going to start getting dark soon. Uh, but as you can see, it's been dark for the last few Minecraft days. Uh, and light helps you see better, which is not only better for you to see where you're going, but it's also helpful in the fact that it keeps monsters away. Which means if it's dark in wherever you're, you're wherever you are, um, there's a chance for monsters to spawn where you are, because monsters spawns in darkness. So, which means not uh, monsters sp spawn at night because it's dark, obviously. That's why you see monsters spawn everywhere because it's dark. But monsters spawn in darkness, which means it doesn't only have to be night. It just simply has to be dark. Which means it could be full-fledged day, like right now, and you can have yourself in like a big house uh, with... but closed off completely with no windows, no lights, no torches, no nothing. Monsters is going to spawn in that in that so-called house of yours. Uh, in any sort of enclosed space where it's dark, monsters will spawn there. That's why it's important to always make windows uh, because it lets in the light. Um, but at night, it doesn't matter because it's dark regardless if you have windows or not. So that's why, that's the importance of torches. That's where the torches come in. Torches make light uh, that makes the monsters uh, go away. It makes the monsters, well, it doesn't make them go away. So like when you, so, so let's, all right. So let's make some torches and I'll show you, I could be able to better explain what I mean. Uh, so with torches, to make torches, you're gonna need sticks and you're gonna need uh, charcoal. Uh, right, to the charcoal. That's why I forgot. I'm forgetting things here. All right, so let's do it really quick. To make charcoal, you're going to need um, a wood log, and you're going to need a, a fuel source, which means this is a jungle log, which is different from the wood of planks. Planks are different from logs. Those are two different types of wood. Uh, you're going to need the log, the one that says log, uh, you can put the log at the top square and then you're going to want to put your fuel whatever you use uh, for fuel in the bottom square and then it'll start cooking when the white uh, arrow is full that's when the cooking will be done of whatever you're cooking and bing bada boom we have charcoal um, as you can see I'm using my wood to use as fuel as at the same time of using the wood to make the charcoal. Uh, and when you're doing that, actually, if you've done that for the first time, you should have just gotten a trophy right now. Because that's one of the trophies. Um, and I forget the name, but it's like refuelable uh, energy, something like that. 
uh, but I forget. But anywho, that's how you make charcoal. Uh, you don't have to use wood for the fuel. I can use the oak planks for the fuel, and that's just, and I can put it and I can put this in here, and it'll and it'll use the the planks. Uh, as you can see, though, it's a lot quicker. See how much faster the uh, the fire is going down. Uh, it's going down a little bit faster, but if you don't want it to continue cooking anything, just take out the fuel, and that'll stop it from doing what it what it's doing. Uh, so I just created another charcoal here. So that's the best way to get coal when you can't find the normal coal. You just make charcoal using wood. That's the easiest way to have charcoal. Um, we're at the 50 minute mark, so that means I have less than nine minutes. Um, but so basically, so we just make charcoal. Um, so you don't want to make your torches right now. So to make the torches, uh, you're gonna need sticks and you're gonna need coal or charcoal you're gonna need either one and you can make torches with either one of them it doesn't matter so as long as you have coal coal or charcoal in your inventory or your hot bar and you have some sticks you'll be able to click the torch and you'll be able to make torches uh, for each click each time you craft some torches you will get four torches for each click so every time you craft torches you'll get four torches which is helpful really good uh, you won't just get one you'll get four so it's good to have if you have a lot of coal or a lot of charcoal you have a lot of sticks then you can just press it a few times you'll have a lot of uh, a lot of torches on you and so now we have the torches as you can see it's nighttime now the monsters are spawning back and we're gonna need light source so we're gonna put some torches there on the outside and we're gonna put some more torches on the inside like so I put it right there but um, yeah that's how I have it perfect so now we have light source in our shelter and so now uh, we don't have to worry about monsters spawning, especially when you decide to um, expand on your on your on your shelter. And like, so if I wanted to continue uh, mining and making more room for myself and making my shelter bigger, um, the more chances of those. Uh, uh, the monsters to spawn exactly where I'm at. So you're not safe if it's dark. Nowhere is safe if it's dark. Basically is what I'm telling you. And also it's raining and snowing and snowing. Christmas has came back early this year. We have an early Christmas. Uh, uh oh. The phantoms. Phantoms! Phantoms. Those things flying around, they are phantoms. They come out at night, and they come out for people who have not sleep, who have not slept yet. So they come out at night, but they attack the people who has not slept. You have to sleep in Minecraft, uh, and if you don't sleep, monsters will literally come and get you. Just like the old stories of how our parents would tell us how a monster is going to come get you from the closet or whatever if you don't sleep, if you're being a bad a boy or girl, the monster is gonna come and get you. In Minecraft, it's it's actual reality. A monster does actually attack you at night. Um, it's a flying demon monster, a scary flying monster uh, called the Phantom um, that comes out at night and it's gonna attack you. Uh, he attacks insomniacs. They are attracted uh, by insomniacs, people who don't sleep. So if you go a long time without sleeping. Uh, they're gonna start coming out and they're gonna start expanding. There's gonna be a lot more of them As you can see there's one right there right there if you can see them the, the green green eyes creepy green eyes They're gonna swoop down. It's gonna attack you um, So it's good to sleep and but we're out of time uh, I'm just uh, closing this off for this episode, but in the next one 
uh, maybe we can get around to the sleeping and I can show you what you need to do in order to sleep but we have the light source so that's one of uh, one of the important things we got one of the most important things out of the way is the light uh, so that's good that we got the we taken care of that um, so that's that's uh, I hope you guns have been have followed uh, where uh, exactly the steps I hope that I've made sense in this um, just like I said with raining uh, the Enderman doesn't like raining uh, they uh, so you're likely not gonna see an Enderman when it's raining and if you do it's gonna be spawning flum 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 all over the place it's going be crazy so you'd be like what the heck is that it's likely been an Enderman um, screaming uh, going, going crazy like a psycho because the rain is like at uh, like harmful to them I guess I don't know why they don't like rain why they don't like water in general um, but it's it's snowing because we're partially in the cold biome we're in like the ice the more snowy biome so that's why it's the snow but more further out like out there in the 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 grass by the the field biome uh, it's just rain not snow only where you see the snow or when you're near a snow mountain is where you're gonna see the snow. Um, we're gonna we want to be careful with those creepers. Uh, but in the next one, I'm gonna we're gonna continue this in the next one. Uh, I'm just wrapping this up here, guys. But so remember what I told you about the hunger. Um, when you're hungry, you're gonna uh, need to put your food in the furnace. When you made a furnace, you're gonna want to put your food at the top. Everything that you're trying to make or craft or cook or whatever that goes into the furnace, it's going to be at the top. And the bottom is always just the fuel. So that's what you want to remember. Um, my health, my health is, is, hasn't been healed yet, but it's too dangerous to go out right now. And I don't have a bed. If you had a, if you had a bed then you'll be able to, when you sleep, you'll be able to skip the night, the nighttime, and it'll skip straight to daytime. It'll be morning, and it'll be morning time, and the monsters will all start to burn. If you notice the monsters, like catching fire, that's because monsters cannot survive during the day. They will burn to death and die. So uh, that's what, that's a good thing about that. Uh, you're safe during the day for the most part anyway as you can see the monster is coming uh, the zombie is coming up right now to eat my brains so now cover it up as you can see the zombie cannot he cannot get to me now but he can still hurt me if I go up all the way close to him um, he should be able to hurt me um, right now he's not able to uh to do any damage to me uh so that's good we're good we're safe this long you covered up that hole uh before the 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 monster is coming at you you're good you're good in your little shelter but if a creeper comes then you want to get all the way away from that door get all the way away from the door hopefully he will not go off make sure you get away from the windows get away from wherever they can get you um if you see the creeper the creeper is the green one well the the green one without the shirt the one with the creepy face the green camo one he's like I like a camo color yeah that's I think you know the one I'm talking about but obviously this one is a zombie out oh, see he just hit me he hit me he hit me so a good way to what you want to do is attack uh, that's a good thing to do as well when they're close to the window you can just attack them uh, with your sword but I'm not gonna get close again because I think one more hit will kill me but I'm out of time uh, this is uh, this has been great I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode I hope I've been I've given giving you guys some good facts that you need I'm sorry zombie did you hurt yourself uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue everything in the next one. I'm gonna uh, head out here guys But I hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this video then leave a like on the video share with your friends and subscribe for more of this amazing content 
There is more on the way. Uh, and if you want to see more of this 